Beijing to New York, in just two hours. Not by rocket, not in some distant future, but by airplane. The Chinese Academy of Sciences revealed footage of a scaled-down hypersonic prototype reaching Mach 6.56 during a test flight in the Gobi Desert. That speed is enough to cover the distance from Beijing to New York in roughly two hours, faster than any commercial or military aircraft in history. This prototype, developed under the direction of the Institute of Mechanics at CES, represents early validation of a concept first unveiled in 2018. Engineers there suggest that, once scaled up, a full-sized, manned variant could revolutionize global travel by the mid-2030s. Hypersonic flight is defined as speeds above Mach 5 or over 6,100 km per hour. At such velocities, a craft flies high in the upper atmosphere, between 20 km and 45 km altitude, where air density is extremely low. That means vastly reduced aerodynamic drag but it also demands materials that can withstand temperatures exceeding 1,500 degrees Celsius on leading edges and engine inlets. During the 2021 test, the iPlane prototype, created by the Key Laboratory of High Temperature Gas Dynamics at CES, demonstrated that its unique biplane configuration and carbon, carbon composite surfaces could endure such thermal loads without catastrophic failure. The iPlane success bolstered confidence that a larger, passenger-carrying variant could be engineered within a decade. China is not just relying on one research institute. For example, Space Transportation, based in Fujian province, tested a ramjet slash detonation ramjet engine named Jindo 400 in late 2024, achieving Mach 4 at 20 km altitude. That engine is designed to power hypersonic test beds capable of eventually carrying passengers on routes like Beijing, New York, in two hours. Engineers there claim the Jindo 400's detonation combustion cycle offers higher thermal efficiency and thrust than conventional scramjets, reducing weight and complexity. Company Insider's project, a full-size unmanned test prototype by 2025, with manned flight tests following by 2030. To achieve and sustain hypersonic crews, the aircraft will likely use a scramjet engine for Mach 4 to 6 crews and a small turbofan or rocket booster for subsonic takeoff and acceleration. Scramjets have no moving parts. They rely on the forward speed of the vehicle to compress incoming air before injecting fuel. Once ignited, combustion occurs at supersonic airflow rates. That simplicity reduces mechanical complexity but makes ignition, stability, and fuel mixing extremely challenging. Early scramjet test beds in the U.S., such as NASA's X-51, a wave rider, demonstrated only seconds of sustained Mach 5 flight before flameouts. By contrast, Chinese teams have logged multiple tens of seconds runs at Mach 6, providing data to refine thermal management, fuel injection, and inlet design. Thermal protection is paramount. At Mach 6, stagnation temperatures at the nose can exceed 1,800 degrees Celsius. Chinese engineers are developing ultra-high temperature ceramics and reinforced carbon, carbon composites originally designed for spacecraft reentry shields, by embedding microchannel cooling passages, through which cryogenic hydrogen fuel flows, they can absorb heat before it damages the structure. Wind tunnel experiments at speeds up to Mach 30 in Beijing and Xi'an have validated new heat sink designs, demonstrating that leading edge temperatures can be kept below 1,200 degrees Celsius during cruise. That is still hotter than most turbine blades tolerate requiring innovative coatings of hafnium carbide and zirconium diboride for extra resilience. China's material breakthroughs also include a novel titanium matrix composite for wing spars and fuselage frames. Compared to aluminum alloys, these composites offer 50% greater strength at high temperatures and weigh 20-30% to less, extending range and payload. According to public patents filed by CESC and partner universities, a mid-sized hypersonic airliner could weigh around 150 tons and carry 20 to 30 passengers initially, with a range of 12,000 kilometers at Mach 6. Future designs may scale up to 50 to 100 seats once thermal protection and propulsion systems mature, making it viable for business and high-end tourism markets. Energy storage and fuel chemistry are another domain of intense research. Rather than kerosene, most Chinese prototypes plan to use liquid hydrogen. Hydrogen's energy density per mass is nearly three times that of jet fuel, and its combustion produces only water vapor, potentially slashing carbon emissions by 80 to 90 percent. However, 
Hydrogen's volumetric density is extremely low, requiring large cryogenic tanks. Engineers are testing thin wall, super insulated composite tanks that can store liquid hydrogen at minus 253 degrees Celsius for extended durations without significant boil off. According to researchers at Tsinghua University collaborating with CSC, optimizing tank shape, favoring a semi spherical droplet design, minimizes surface area, reducing heat ingress, and enabling 10 hour endurance at cruise altitudes. Hypersonic flight demands advanced flight control systems. MOX 6 controls surfaces, flaps, ailerons, rudders, face extreme aerodynamic pressures. Human reaction times are insufficient to manage real time stability. China is integrating AI driven flight computers trained on petabytes of computational fluid dynamics and flight data to adjust control surfaces thousands of times per second. If a sudden gust or shock wave interaction threatens stability, the AI can redirect fuel flow or alter aerodynamic trim in microseconds. In mid-2024, a joint team from CAS and Shanghai Jiao Tong University demonstrated an AI-controlled model in a Mach 7 wind tunnel run, maintaining stable flight despite an intentional 15-degree angle of attack perturbation. Beyond civilian tourism and business, the strategic implications are vast. A two-hour global reach transforms military logistics, a rapid response transport that can move special forces or critical equipment anywhere in three hours. Humanitarian aid, organs, medicines, disaster relief crews could cross continents faster than it takes now to fly coast to coast domestically. Economically, companies could hold board meetings in Hong Kong, midday sessions in London, and evening events in Los Angeles, all on the same calendar day. If allied nations develop compatible hypersonic corridors, supply chain disruptions shrink dramatically, and time sensitive goods arrive at record speeds. At the same time, challenges remain daunting. Regulatory frameworks do not yet exist for routine hypersonic passenger operations. Airports must build hypersonic pads, runways equipped with rocket thrust suppression and specialized hydrogen fueling infrastructure. Airspace management needs entirely new protocols as a Mach 6 aircraft would cross multiple national furs in minutes. To address this, China's CAAC and the Civil Aviation Administration of Russia announced a joint working group in early 2025 to draft international hypersonic flight regulations, including collision avoidance systems and safe altitude corridors above 50 kilometers, well into the mesosphere, where commercial airlines typically do not operate. Comparisons with Western efforts underscore the scale of China's ambition. In the U.S., Hermes Incorporated completed a successful Mach 5 demonstration of its Chimera engine in late 2023, intending to power an unmanned hypersonic vehicle by 2027. But Hermes focuses on State Route 72, a planned hypersonic reconnaissance aircraft, not a passenger plane. Meanwhile, NASA and Lockheed Martin's X-59 KSST project aims for Mach 1.4, low-boom design, primarily to reopen supersonic overland flights not pushing a Mach 5-plus territory. Boom Supersonics Overture aims for Mach 1.7, carrying 65 to 80 passengers by the early 2030s. China's goal of Mach 5 to 6 civilian service by 2035 thus leapfrogs current Western trajectories by an entire category of speed. China's strategy integrates civilian, military, and space ambitions. The Tongyun program, combining a hypersonic carrier aircraft with a rocket-equipped upper stage, envisions two-stage-to-orbit missions for satellites and high-speed transport. In December 2024, CSC engineers demonstrated a model Tongyun releasing a microsatellite at 80 km altitude in a combined wind tunnel and vacuum chamber test. That dual-use capability, rapid global reach, and affordable small-sat deployment could reshape both defense and commercial space sectors. By mid-2025, China aims to complete construction of a dedicated hypersonic research airport in Xinjiang province, featuring a 3 km runway for rocket-boosted launches, a Mach 6 wind tunnel, and a cryogenic hydrogen fueling station capable of refueling a full-size prototype within two hours. Similar to how other countries clustered space launch facilities, this hypersonic valley will centralize testing, production, and training, all geared to accelerate development. Assuming success, the global consequences are enormous. If China fields the world's first hypersonic passenger fleet, it effectively controls the fastest transportation network anywhere on Earth. 
for partner nations in its Belt and Road Initiative. This could mean privileged access to two-hour corridors between capitals. For the West, it would force rapid investment in hypersonic research or risk falling behind. Historically, breakthroughs like the jet engine and satellite communications reshaped power dynamics. A functioning hypersonic airliner could be the 21st century equivalent.